well, one one company already have ordered uh, their their equipment due in in January. So they are looking to the pasteurization of milk right here. So that's a local company that has already made that order. So they're now working their investment packages up for us to look at what concessions are available from government. The other one is a, a U.S. company that are now starting their process in looking to where they want to set up a large, because they're not only going to, to the dairy plant, they, they're doing the cattle themselves. So you bring it in thousands of head of cattle for supply chain for the dairy plant. So those are all good opportunities. And, and you know, the president talks about bringing energy costs down in three years through the hydro, through the gas, the shore pipeline. And so investors, you know, at this point, our energy cost is high. But as you develop your product line, your manufacturing, dairy plant, whatever it is, as energy cost comes down, then you become much more competitive. And the president target is to get that energy cost down in three years, bring the gas to shore, get the renewable energy with Amalia connecting, and you have an integrated energy plan through solar, hydro, wind, and fossil fuel. Again, it creates an excitement for the future of Guyana. And you have to start now looking at where you fit and where we fit and where companies fit. And how do you partner with foreign companies or how do you expand your local companies? You know, you wouldn't recognize GAN in five years. But, you know, we can't sit back and, and see it happen. We got to be part of that development. And that's what the presidents want to see, wants us to be part. And, and, and if you just look, you know, recently, you know, we got to thank our healthcare workers for what they've done through COVID-19. And the president is rewarding with a, with, a, with a small bonus. But it's, it's his vision to make sure our people working hard is taken care of.